Okay, stop scrolling for just a second. I'm gonna tell you a story that I heard from a pastor named Jensen Franklin. And this is an incredible story. When I, when I heard it, it was one of those stories, like you just kind of chew on it for a little bit. In fact, this story was so popular over, a little over 100 years ago. There was a, there was a pastor named Russell Conwell. He told this story over 6,000 times. And because he told this story so much, he began to raise funds for what is now Temple University. The story is about a guy named Ali. And Ali was a, a decently wealthy farmer in, in India. And, and Ali, he, he had heard uh, of these diamond mines. And he got like just absolutely infatuated. He was obsessed with finding diamond mines. And so, and so even though he had his own successes, even though he was, he was wealthy, he just thought, I've gotta go, I've gotta go search for these, for these diamonds. And so he sold his, his entire farm and he left his family to go to Africa because he had heard the great diamond mines are in Africa. Ali spent the rest of his life searching for, for diamonds. Year after year after year, he came up empty handed again and again and again and again. And in fact, he ended his, his own life by, by jumping into a river and, and drowned because he was so dismayed that he never found diamonds. But the crazy thing about this story is not that he left a, a good life to go find diamonds and never, and never found them. It's not about that, that tragedy. The story is really about the man that he sold his farm to. After that man had had the, had the farm for a few years, he found this little, little black clump of coal with some shiny spots inside of it. And he just simply thought it was cool. He thought it was pretty. And so he put it up on his fireplace mantle and one day somebody was visiting his house and they looked at that mantle and they saw this like this sparkly shiny coal looking thing and and he went and, and looked at it and he he asked the man he said do you know what this is and the guy said no I, I found it in the river there's there's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of them I guess what we, this is this is diamonds and it ended up being one of the largest diamond mines in the country of India you think about that story, you think about this, this man, Ali, who, who, who left a farm in search of, of diamonds. He never, never found them. But the whole time, he was sitting on acres and acres and acres and acres of diamonds. He just didn't realize it. And I think that's how so many of us live our lives. We're, we're so blessed. If you're watching this right now, you have a computer, you have internet or, 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 or Wi-Fi. That fact alone means you're blessed. You have so much. But so many of us spend our lives in search of something else. The Bible says in Colossians chapter 1, verse 26 or 28, it says, the mystery that has been kept hidden for ages and generations, but is now disclosed to the Lord's people. To them, God has chosen to make known among the Gentiles the glorious riches of this mystery, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. He is the one we proclaim, admonishing and teaching everyone with all wisdom so that we may present everyone fully mature in Christ. See, so many times we, we were in search of something else. We're in search of bigger and better and, and, and more. We go everywhere else to find it. But the reality is the greatest riches in the world are found inside of us. And that's Jesus. We already have everything we need because we have Jesus. 